All right, yo, what's up, everyone? Yarks here. Welcome back to another Beastorm Simulator video. And in this one, I'm gonna buy all of these stupidly expensive bundles to give on it even more money. I've been playing this game for four years, and I've spent probably, I'd say, like, 20,000 Robux on this game. No, maybe a bit less. Maybe, like, 15,000. But still, I've spent way too much money on this game. And let's proceed to spend even more in this video. Well, I quickly want to give you guys my little Beastmas update. I've been grinding gingerbread berries. I have 161 in like 5 days, which is pretty good. Let me check the house. Oh wow, only... I'm poor, only 4. But yeah, I've also been grinding a bunch of quests. Like, as you can see, I'm on this Mary Makito's quest. And also, little Robo Challenge update. After wasting literally all of my resources on the Robo Challenge, I got to round 21, which is my best. So congratulations to me. Oh yeah, happy 2023 everyone. As you can see, I'm recording this on the 1st of 2023. Make this year the best one so far. But yeah, so far, I've kind of been struggling, I gotta admit. The reason I'm struggling is because I switched to Red Hive, and I still have the Tide Popper, which is kind of cringe. Like, if you look, I don't have the quest to afford this stupid thing. Even if I wanted to buy it, I can't. Oh, and another thing that came out recently are the new heat-treated and hydroponic planters. They might not be new when you're watching this, but... To me, they're new, okay? So, I will also be buying this hydroponic plants here in this video. The reason that I didn't want to buy it at first is because the caustic wax. As you can see, I only have 56, and you need 50 for the dark scythe. But in one of the new bundles, in the Mondo Robo bundle, as you can see, you get 25 scrolled wax, which is absolutely perfect for me. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much, let's just get right into buying and reviewing of these bundles. And I'll give you guys my opinion on whether you should buy these or not. So yeah, first of all, we got the Nighttime Nectar Pack. So from this, you get one star egg, one of each Nectar Vial, 20 glues, 5 Night Bells, 100 tickets, 500 snowflakes. So my, so in my opinion, the best thing from this is obviously the star egg, and it only costs 400 Robux. So you're getting a star egg at half price instead of paying 800, you're getting it for 400 along with all these other useful goodies. Yeah, this one, if you're a newer player, or even if you're mid game or end game, you might find this useful. So I would honestly say this is worth it. I mean, to me, it's not really worth it because I can unlock any B that I really want to. I kind of have a lot of resources to do so. Except strawberries. But yeah, I'm just buying this for the content. Next, we have the Magical Mythic Pack. So from this one, you get 1 Mythic Egg, 25 Gingerbread Berries, 25 Glitters, 25 Loaded Dice, 5 Festive Beans, 5 Super Smoothies, and 25 Red and Blue Extracts. So the best things from this pack, believe it or not, it's not even the Mythic Egg. Like, I have way too many Mythic Eggs. I don't need these Mythic Eggs. I have 9. Why do I need this many? But the honest reason I'm buying this is probably for the Festive Beans. And loaded dice. I mean, festive beans, they're also cool, but I have way too many of them. Like, And then you can get like 20 festive beans from this beastmas anyway. You get some from this bundle, you get 10. You get 5 from this angelic bundle. So yeah, festive beans are not as rare as they used to be. I have 16. So this bundle, the loaded dice is probably the best thing for me to waste on Robo Challenge. And yeah, let's just go ahead and purchase this for 800 Robux. And the thing is, this year, we don't have a bundle that's in between the 800 and 4500 one. Last year, we saw one for 800, 1700, and 4500, but this year, it's the cheap ones, and then straight on to the expensive ones. So, the Mondo Robo Bundle, which is probably the one you guys have been waiting for this whole time. Let me, I'll get to it in a second, but first, I want to buy the new planter, which is the Hydroponic Planter. I'm so excited to see what this looks like inside the actual game. I've only ever used it in the Beastorm Test Realm. Yeah, 3, 2, 1, thanks, see ya. Let's buy it. Oh, and it costs one turpentine. I guess a bit too late for that. But yes, I got the hydroponic planter. And it looks amazing in my inventory. And let's see what it looks like on the ground. And replace it for tacky. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. And look at my backpack. I look so weird through this hydroponic planter. It's like a little magnifying glass. But yeah, it looks amazing. And let me see what it actually gives you. Because I haven't read the description. This plant here grows in about 12 hours, but faster in your blue flowers. Grants bonus blue extracts, oils, times 1.4 refreshing and comforting nectar. So it is the blue clay plant here, but pretty much 0.2 times better. And yeah, that is pretty significant. And yeah, it grants you a bunch of goodies like blue extracts, oils, dice, all that good stuff. 
but no problem because I'm gonna be buying the Mondo Robo Bundle. So let's see what this gives me. It gives me one Mythic Egg, 25 Robo Passes, 10 Festive Planters, 500 Singers. That's good. That's gonna be good. 25 Strolled Wax, 25 Caustic Wax, one Turpentine, 10 Glitch Drives, and 1,500 Tickets. Wow. Yeah, so 10 Glitch Drives, that's gonna be insane. If you didn't know, Glitch Drives are kinda hard to get for you to play. But hey, if you're willing to spend a bit of money on the game, you can get them easy. Tickets are absolutely worth the value. You're getting pretty much the 1,800 tickets back, along with all this cool stuff. One Gifted Mythic Egg, I could care less about. Like, once again, I have too many eggs. I have three Gifted Mythic Eggs, never used one in my Beast from Korea ever on my Hive, on the Scout. And probably never will. I'll just give it to the Wind Shrine. But yeah, let's just get right into the buying. I know I wasted enough time already, so let's just do it. On the Robo Bundle, you can take my Robux. Oh yeah, shout out to my viewers who gave me all this Robux and please donate in one of my streams. Love you all. Thank you so much. Yay, we got the bundle. Let's go. Yeah, let's read everything I got. One Myth Gay, 25 Robo Passes. God damn, 25 Robo Passes. I just noticed. That's actually a lot. 10 Festive Planters, 500 Singers, 25 Cerule Wax, 25 Caustic, 1 Turpentine, 10 Glitch Drive, 1500 Tickets. Dude. God damn, 25 Robo Drives. That's way too many. I'm telling you, this game is becoming Pet Simulator X 2.0. I have 34 Robo Passes. They're so easy to get if you're willing to pay money. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a couple tickets on my hive, so let's just do it. One star sheet, two star sheet, three star sheet. And I'm just gonna give it to my spicy bees. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do now. I have way too many resources. I'm about to max out on all these vials, which is, I guess... Too bad for me, too bad for being too rich. And I think the reason Ana and I think the reason Ana added this world and caustic wax to these bundles is so people can can buy the new heat treated planter and the hydroponic because both these require swirled and caustic. You know, honestly, I would buy this too because this planter looks dope as well, and I can afford it. But the reason I'm not is because I don't have red extracts, man. I literally, ha I barely have enough to buy the Dark Scythe, let alone a planter for 750 red extracts. So maybe in a couple months time, maybe in like a month's time, I'll be able to afford it. But for now, I cannot make that investment. I gotta buy one more item from Beaver's catalog. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy more Robo Passes and I can have like 50. No, that, would, that would just be stupid. Yes, yeah, so Toy Horn, it's a good be quick for Melody, so you need to have less music bees in your hive. I can put this on my Crimson Bee. Let's give it some hard wax too. Let's do a little bit of gambling. Because I love gambling. It seemed to help. It helped. Come on. Let's get this a 4 out of 5. Okay. 2 out of 3? 4 out of... What? Okay. No, okay. So I got a 3 out of 5 be equipped from the hard wax. Okay, so it's kind of cringe. I got high bonus plus 1 convert rate. Not really going to help, but whatever. You know, it's solid be equip. So I'm happy. So right now, I'm just trying to get as many good equips for Red because I do know they're very important for Red Hive. Like, they're probably one of the most important things for Red. Oh, and by the way, guys, little update. As you can see, most of my Hive is level 20, but I have like 15 or 16 level 19 Bs. So I will be making a video on getting level 20 Hive soon, I promise. I know I need to do it for a long time now, but I just never got to it. Oh, and guys, I I'm kind of sad. I got to miss out on the Honey Day. Like... I'm saying I got to miss out. I unfortunately missed out on the Honey Day event because I cannot boost. I don't have Dark Scythe. And boosting with Red without Dark Scythe is pretty much useless because you don't have the Dark Heat. Which is good, man. I'm, I'm kind of pissed because I just switched Red Hive and I can't get any extra Honey. But like I was saying, I can't boost as Red yet, but I'm going to get Dark Scythe soon. That's going to be a dope video, so watch out for that. And recently, I've been grinding so many videos. It's kind of crazy. Like, I've been making a video pretty much every day for the last couple of days. Like, I've been making these sort of Meru Sharp videos, and I've had a lot of fun making those. Let me know if I should do more videos where I'm, like, pay to win on the new account, like, noob, noob to pro, all that sort of stuff. I have a lot of fun making those, so if you guys enjoy them, I might make more. But other than that, I pretty much covered everything I wanted to. I got the new plant here. I spent a lot of my viewers' Robux on this. So once again, thank you to all the please donate donators. I'll put them up on screen right now. Yeah, hope you guys have an amazing year of 2023. And yeah, let's achieve everything we want to together. And if you enjoyed, drop a like and sub. It really does help support the channel. And I'll see you guys. You can join my Discord.
in the description. You can follow me on Twitter there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.